What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video I'll be discussing neurocutaneous disorders. Uh, specifically I'll focus on neurofibromatosis types 1 and 2 and tuberous sclerosis. Um, and as you can see I've upgraded the qualities of my video slightly um, and I've also added myself to the corner of this video here so that you can see my face while I'm talking. Um, and with that let's just jump right into the video. So on this first slide over here, I give you a brief overview of all of the neurocutaneous disorders you need to know. These include NF1 and 2, um, tuberous sclerosis, as well as uh, Sturge-Weber, also known as encephalotrigeminal angiomatosis, and um, von hippel Dow disease. Um, and in this video, I'll go over mnemonics that I uh, created or modified uh, for the first two diseases, uh, which are more high yield than the last two. So for NF type 1, uh, you can basically use the sentence that I came up with, which goes um, spots, lumps, and excited eyes. Uh, each word in this sentence will represent one classic clinical presentation of neurofibromatosis. Uh, so I'll go over all of them right now. So spots will represent uh, cafe la spots. Um, lumps represents cutaneous neurofibromas, which are lumps on the skin that feel kind of rubbery due to the myelin uh, in the neoplastic tissue. Um, excited will represent pheochromocytoma, which is an adrenal tumor that produces uh, adrenal hormones such as epinephrine and norepinephrine uh, can lead to your body being in an excited state. So um, there's excited for pheochromocytoma, and then also eyes will represent the two optic findings of neurofibromatosis, which are um, Lish nodules, uh, pigmented hamartomas of the iris, and also optic glioma. Um, so with this sentence, hopefully you can very easily uh, come up with all of the um, presentations of NF type 1. And there's also two other facts that you need to be aware of, and I've come up with another mnemonic for this, uh, basically using the alternate name for neurofibromatosis type 1, and that is von Recklinghausen's disease. Here, as you can see, I've highlighted the rec in Recklinghausen, and basically you can use that to remember that NF type 1 will wreck you in two different ways. The first way that you get wrecked by NF type 1 is that um, it has 100% penetrance. So by this I mean that if you have the NF1 mutated gene, you're 100% guaranteed to have disease and get wrecked because of that penetrance. Uh, the second way you get wrecked is by disinhibition of RAS. So normally neurofibromin, the NF1 gene, encodes for inhibition of the RAS GTPase. Without that inhibition, uh, you get tonically active RAS GTPase, which then goes on to wreck your cells and uh, give you all of these spots, lumps, and excited eyes. So uh, in this manner, you get wrecked in two different ways in von Recklinghausen disease. The penetrance, 100% penetrance, and the disinhibition of RAS. So next, I'm going to go over NF type 2, and basically uh, the mic you can use to memorize this is um, two eyes, two ears, and two brain tumors. Uh, and then this is in neurofibromatosis type 2. Uh, two eyes will represent bilateral juvenile cataracts. Uh, this doesn't have to be bilateral, but typically uh, cataracts present um, bilaterally as bilateral opacifications of the lens. Um, vestibular schwannoma stands for ears, stands for vestibular schwannoma, and this must present bilaterally for it to be uh, neurofibromatosis type 2. Um, this can result in uh, peripheral vertigo as well as uh, impaired hearing. Uh, and then lastly, you get two different brain tumors. First, you get ependymoma, and second, you get meningioma. Do not confuse meningioma for medulloblastoma, which is what I did because um, they're both malignant tumors that present in children, and with the juvenile cataracts, you typically uh, tend to think of all of the diseases that present in children, but uh, do not confuse that. It is meningioma and ependymoma, not medulloblastoma. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to go over tuberous sclerosis, uh, and this disease is basically uh, uh, present with hamartomas in the CNS and skin. Uh, this is 
what causes all of the classic clinical presentations of it, and it can be memorized by the mnemonic hammertomas. Uh, I've slightly modified this mnemonic from the one you might be used to seeing. Uh, specifically, I've changed the T to toenails, and I've also changed the O to this little sonic coin over here, and I'll explain it later. But first, let's go over the mnemonic. So hammertomas, the H will represent uh, hamartomas, A will represent angiofibromas, uh, M for mitral regurgitation, which does not usually present. I think there's just like one uh, case report on PubMed that goes over uh, someone with tuber sclerosis and mitral regurgitation, but just know it for the test. Um, at A for Ashley spots, which are hypopigmented macules of the skin. Um, you get R for rhabdomyomas, and then T for toenails. Let me explain this one. So here, as you can see, there is a picture of a toenail, and um, basically this is what an ungual fibroma looks like. And ungual fibromas is the other association you need to make with tuberous sclerosis. Ungual fibromas are these um, hamartomas that present typically at the junction between the skin and the nail. So um, this can also present on the hands, of course. Uh, so toenails for ungual fibromas. Um, the sonic coin um, helps me make the association with sonic and uh, the company that created sonic, which is Sega. And basically, SEGA just happens to be uh, the same acronym for um, subependymal giant cell astrocytoma, which is a low-grade uh, astrocyte-derived tumor that presents in the ventricles. And I think that this is a genius way to remember um, this long, complicated tumor. But um, if you aren't familiar with uh, Sonic or the company that made it, um, I guess it doesn't really work out that way but um anyways m will be used to memorize mental retardation um a for angiomyolipoma uh, in the kidneys and an s for chagrin patches um and with that that is everything that you need to uh, make all of the associations that you need to make with tuberous sclerosis um i'll go over uh, encephalotrigeminal angiomatosis and von hippel lindau disease in another video but with that, um, thank you for watching. Um, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so I can grow my YouTube channel. And uh, that's it.